So guys, we're on the East Fork of the San Gabriel River today. Uh, haven't been up here in a few months since all the runoff. So hoping we can get into something today. So let's get down in the water. Once you get into this spot, um, I'm not sure where they stop. But you can see the creek is down there. Uh, but from here on up the river is uh, all wild rainbows. So you can go as far back as you want. Um, I think the bridge to nowhere is like four miles and that's where uh, you can go bungee jumping. So there's a lot of foot traffic back here and um, a lot of people gold mining. There's apparently tons of gold in this river, but uh, yeah, it's not really heavily fished and usually I go for anything. So my go-to is a really small fly, um, probably like an 18 or a 20. Uh, either elk or caddis or parachute atoms. They're not picky. They'll pretty much go for anything you throw at them. But uh, for some reason, they like the purple parachute atoms back here. So it did rain like three days ago. It's a little murky, but uh, hopefully it's cleared up enough for them. But the flows are definitely down, so I think we're gonna get into a few. So we're gonna start right here. So. What I'm looking for up here is a lot of these little rock structures. They kind of, some people have come through before and kind of piled them up, made little breaks in the water, little dams. Um, so just around the rocks, these little pools, um, right next to the runs, um, maybe sometimes in the riffles, kind of depending on the weather. Right now it's like 90 degrees up here, so I might try hitting the riffles a little bit. Um, I don't know how this is going to go. The water's a little murky, but here's our first cast. No, this ain't it. We're gonna go higher. This might be a tough day. This is a good thing to look for right here. So we're gonna fish this pretty hard right now. Hopefully get some luck. Water's really dirty. Is that one? Might have just got a hit. I was blowing mosquitoes away. eaten alive by mosquitoes.
All right, first action we got here. We saw a fish. So it's 98 degrees right now, and uh, saw one fish. The river's not quite where it should be, so maybe we'll try back in a month or so, or hear from anybody else that goes up there, see if it gets better, but right now, still wouldn't go waste your time coming up here if you're gonna go fishing, it's pretty rough. So, all right guys, until next time, get outside. We're stuck up in the canyon. So, the road's closed. Tried to go fishing. They had a high speed chase. The guy went over the side and he's on the run, and they won't let anybody through. So, I'm stuck up here with no service. Awesome. There's a dead guy at the bottom of the cliff, and they said it's going to be at least five hours, and I'm stuck up here. This dude's setting up Starlink for everyone. <laughs> People are getting heated. This is wild. Are they letting us through? CHP's yelling. Oh, please, dear God, let us through. I don't know. Dude, Starlink guy is so mad. He's driving off and he forgot he left his Starlink on the back of his truck. This dude's about to go let CHP have the business. I've never seen someone more pissed off for being inconvenienced by a dead guy. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Come on, Karen, get it done. Get this road open. So we let the guys from Public Works go through, but uh, not us.
This guy just came up out of nowhere to yell at CHP. Dude, a couple hours without service and people are losing their minds. This is hilarious. This guy's name is Louie. He's drunk as fuck, and he keeps asking people if they want to see a dead body. It's actually pretty funny. It's gonna be for the Glendora Road Mountain. I'm gonna try to open the gates. They're opening Glendora. Oh, it's 5.30, and everyone finally made it out. This whole thing started at 1.45. So that was not an adventure. <laughs>